Hello, I'm John Miles, the designer of the 3120A phase noise test probe from Symmetricom. In a previous demonstration, we used the 3120A to perform a two-port measurement, looking at the additive noise and overall phase stability of an RF amplifier. This demo is going to be less formal and less repeatable, but still pretty enlightening. It's another scenario involving a two-port device measurement. But this time, the two-port device is just an ordinary piece of coax. I'm going to take a series of four residual measurements with different pieces of coaxial cable. After we've tested all four cables, we'll load the files and discuss them. Our first test subject is a six-foot length of standard RG58 cable from Pomona. The second cable to be tested is a megaphase SMA cable. Unlike the other cables I'm playing with here, the megaphase cables are marketed for their phase stability and other properties of interest in time and frequency work. These are good cables. Uh, the difference does show up here. This cable is a length of RG400. You could think of it as being similar to RG58, but it's double shielded with a Teflon dielectric. It just has a much better overall feeling of quality than any of the hundreds of generic cable brands that are sold under the RG58 moniker. Finally, here's another RG58 cable. I don't remember where I got this one. It has no manufacturer's logo on it at all, and we're about to find out why. Here's a closer look at the results of our decidedly unscientific cable comparison. This graph shows the phase variations that each cable exhibited when I flexed it back and forth. A full-scale indication in either direction is only two and a half picoseconds. So in most cases, you won't see a difference between these cables with respect to mechanical phase stability. Clearly, you don't want your cables to move at all during a precision phase measurement. And in any case, a lot of these phase fluctuations probably come from the connectors and adapters rather than the cables themselves. But if mechanical stability is important to you, there's clearly an advantage to the megaphase cables. We don't actually see much difference between the RG400 and name brand RG58 cables here. The real revelation was that last RG58 cable that we tested, the one that no manufacturer wanted to take credit for. I had to turn that plot's visibility off to keep from completely swamping the others. When I toggle it back on, notice that our vertical axis is now a hundred times larger. This cable is not something you'd want in your lab. So to summarize, we've seen how the Symmetricom 3120A can be used as a real-time graphical phase comparator with extremely high resolution. And we've seen how the software makes it very easy to save and load and compare multiple plots. Thanks very much for watching.